This is a video on how to shorten cordless faux wood blinds. So I have some faux wood blinds that I need to shorten because they were off the shelf from Lowe's and they were way too long. And I looked and looked on the internet for some kind of video or even some easy to understand written ex uh, uh, instructions on how to do it and I did not find anything. So I just started um, figuring it out myself and then after I did one I thought well maybe there's somebody else that's like me that's looking to figure out how to do this so I thought maybe I would do my own video. So here it is. These are the blinds. Um, as you can see I have one that's fully um, stretched out for its full length and you can see the how long it is and you can still use them without actually um, having them be shorter like this one here as you can see but it's all bunched up at the bottom and then when you try to um, when you try to raise them they're they're kind of heavy so they're kind of a little bit hard to to lift because you have all that excess um, those excess slats in there so I decided to go ahead and figure out how to shorten them myself and I have one here that's done this one sorry about the camera movement there and it is um, it's about the length that you would need and these, oh, and because these are cordless, of course, so that is the real issue. So you just go like that, and just pull them down and open them again. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to shorten these lines. Here are some of the tools that I'm using for this project. I have a pair of scissors. These are my sewing scissors. I have a um, flathead screwdriver for um, taking the the plugs off the bottom of um, of the uh, bottom rail, and then these are snap cut a snap cut tool. I don't even know what they make this for, but um, I had it in my tool chest, and uh, it works well for this project. You'll see. All right, since I already have this one all stretched out, I'm going to go ahead and um, start removing the slats from this particular blind right here. First thing you need to do is you need to remove the plugs at the bottom of this. I'm just going to do this one here since I have it zoomed in on the camera. And it's easier to do this with a screwdriver. You, you, could, you could do it with your fingernail if you're tough, but I don't want to risk that myself. So I just pry this out here like this. And then when you do that, you'll you pull on this you'll see that all the excess cord which is the ladder structure for the that holds the slats up will come out and then in addition what's in here is just to show you is the the little plug that blocks the cord from coming out it's kind of hard to get to okay when you get this little little ring out of the bottom of here, you can see that it um, it's tied around the, the strings, which are the pull cords that raise and lower the bar. Now, I didn't see anything on the internet about dealing with this little thing, and I thought the easiest way to do this shortening thing would be to take all of these rings off, then remove all the slats, and then put them all back on, but I do not recommend doing that because you will never get these rings back in the same place. Not to mention, however they tied this is like some sort of proprietary tying process. Um, so I found another way around having to deal with this. But in any case, uh, you do still need to remove the plugs because um, you still have to tuck what's going to be the excess back in here. Because so I. Um, already did this one I know how many slats I guess you have those slats there that I removed um, I know how many slats I need to remove from this one over here 
and it's nine slats. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead with this post-it note and mark nine slats. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's the 10 slot there. I'm gonna mark that one. So we'll know when to stop. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rest of the plugs. And now all of the excess cord can be pulled out. And now I'm going to start with the cutting. So because all of these slats, the nine slats that are extra, have to come off of these cords and we're not going to be taking the rings off the bottom of the cords, we have to cut the slats so that the cords can be released. And I figured out you could just make a cut in each one of these and then slip the cord through and then release the um, release the slats themselves. Um, so let me go ahead and grab the clippers, snap cut, and be really, really super careful that you do not cut this cord because uh, you basically will have to get yourself a new um, set of lines. This, again, being careful that you don't go anywhere near this raising and lowering cord and then slide it out from the, um, from the slat. Okay, I'm gonna do one more cut in close up so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Again, watch out for this cord. Do not cut the cord. Do not go anywhere near it. Snap there. And then pull the cord out. From there, we do one more cut over here. Is it's easier to start with the slats that are just beneath the last one that you're gonna keep. Um, because you have uh, gravity helping you out here with um, not holding up these these bottom ones on top. So again, just get in here, watch the cords, go ahead and snap those. And release cords from the slats. And then pull the slat out. Okay, so I am getting down to the last slat. Again, pushing the cords away. The um, the ladder cords, these these being the ladder cords, the ones that hold up the um, the slats, are not as crucial as far as being careful about. But you still uh, do want to keep them intact until you figure out exactly what part of them you're going to cut. So, do my last snips here, and the last one over here. Okay, now. Releasing the pull cord, and again, these are cordless, so the only mechanism that um, is in that raises and lowers them is related to the pull cords themselves. It's some sort of counterbalancing thing. Okay, so now all of the extra slats have been removed, and so we just have the bottom which, as you can see, this functions still um, as it should, um, even without removing, I mean, without taking out the excess string. But we want to take the excess, excess cording out because it's unsightly. So um, what you have to do is you have to um, get in there and cut everything except for the ones that you still need. Let me grab my scissors. I'm going to start at the bottom of this one here. 
and I'm just going to go ahead and cut this loose and then you're going to just go on up the ladder being careful as you get towards the top because you want to slow down and make sure that you don't cut too much and so we want to, you, you want to keep one of these horizontal ladders to go across the bottom of this of this base and you're going to cut the one just beneath it. The one that's just beneath it though I'm going to trim off at the edges because this part's going to get tucked in like that. Cut that off there. Being careful, of course, to cut only what you're intending to cut and not accidentally cutting something that you are not intending to cut. And then we can cut these like that. And so we're going to keep about two rungs worth of the vertical cording for the ladder. And that's going to wrap around like this. Now I just tie it into a little knot because it makes it easier to tuck it in. But it's not crucial. And then you tuck it into the bottom here. If you don't have small fingers, you might want to use like maybe a stylus or a pencil eraser or something to get that in there. It takes a couple minutes sometimes for a minute. And then just make sure that this top ladder is pretty tight against the, the base. And then grab one of your plugs and stick it back in there and press it in firmly. Oh, it does have like a couple little indentations actually where the cording is supposed to go on either side. And that, if you can line that up, that'll make it a little bit easier. Okay, finally. Okay, so this one's done. As you can see, you can raise and lower like that, and tilt the slats like before, but now you don't have all that extra, all those extra slats in there. Okay, once again, you are going to want to leave one of these horizontal ladder rung things uh, intact. It's going to go right above the base. So you're going to cut the two right below and I cut them um, at the very edges so that they will be easy to tuck in. All right, one last look at tying this off and tucking it in. So tie the knot kind of down towards the bottom so you have, oops, so you have plenty of room to uh, angle the cords or to have enough slack to be able to tuck them in. Make sure that your horizontal ladder is well situated on the bar, on the base, and then go ahead and tuck in all the excess and take my plug again, see where the notches are, line them up kind of in the general area of where the cording is and push it in. There we go. So once you have done a few of these, you'll start to get into a rhythm and you'll start to figure out some shortcuts. I don't know if it's the lazy man's approach or what, but I just love that I didn't have to take these down to do this. much much better than it was before with uh, all those extra slats. Gee, 
and C, goes up, and comes down pretty easily. Thanks for watching.